calling the meeting to order. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, and Helen Kahn. This Zoom call is being recorded. Is there any public comment? No public comment. Moving on to agenda item number three. Review and approval of the following application for extension of premises onto private property. Sanctawan Incorporated, DBA, Tai Tai at 84 Pleasant Street. Hi. Hi. Could you state your name for the record, please? Yeah, my name is Kanita Le Sang Sai. Thank you for coming. Um, so I understand you were able to reach Eric about the alleyway and he's given permission for you to use it. That's great. Yeah. Um, so since we didn't really get into much in your application last time, can you just walk us through again what your plan is? Uh, the plan is um, put, actually when I put the application on, I just put one, one, 10 by uh, 30 feet, 10, but when we actually put it in, it only fit like 10, like three of the 10 by 10 feet tents on. So we just put, we had to put three 10 by 10 feet tents on and we um, can put like four big tables for four, that fit for four seats and then two small tables. So it can uh, have the space, six feet space in between each table. Okay. And can you remind me, did the building department come and approve? Not yet. Okay. Um, so hi, Alan. It's, um, I, maybe, maybe you just, uh, maybe you know this, maybe you had said it wrong, but it's six feet in between patrons, not tables. Yeah, in between the patrons. So in the, uh, each seat, not the table, the okay. seats. Okay, that's great. Great. Helen, do you have any questions? Um, I guess not. I mean, you know, if the measurements are correct and you have the approvals, I don't have any questions about it. Neither do I. Do you want to make a motion? Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the application for extension of premises onto private property for Sanctuan Inc. DBA Tai Tai at 84 Pleasant Street. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Glad that worked out quickly. Yeah. Thank you. So can I leave now? So yes, you can leave. Um, are your tables and chairs set up? Yes. OK. So before you can start, you'll need to get an inspection by the building department. OK, so I'll contact them today. Yep. Yep. If okay. you call Beth in the building department, she'll be able to schedule one for you. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You Thanks. too. Item number four, review and approval of the following application for extension of premises onto public property for Ragum Incorporated DBA Bombay Royale at one Roundhouse Plaza. Do we have someone here? He was here. He was yeah. on at the start or trying to get on. <laughs> Huh. I did see him as well. So. Okay, well, we can table that and move on to item five. Approval of minutes, June 8th, 2020, June 11th, 2020, June 17th, 2020, and June 24th, 2020. Helen, did you have a chance to review them? I did. They were riveting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Every word. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as outlined in agenda item number five. I think Helen's frozen. Yep. Yep. Do you have a way to like poker being the originator? Uh, no, not. Oh, and she's gone. Oh dear. So, Natasha. Good yes. Afternoon, good afternoon, all. Um, 
If you're moving on to Bomboy, you 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 uh, certainly did finish that one quickly. Um, and if you're moving on to Bomb Bombay Royale, they're in the first floor of my building. So if you don't really need me here, I prefer not to participate just because they're in my building. I'm in there all the time, and and although I'm not technically uh, conflicted as long as I disclose, um, do you need me for that? I don't think so. No, I mean. It's all the same questions. Do they yep. have the on the sidewalk, really? So, so with yep. your permission, I'm going to uh, make a hasty um, retreat here. Sounds okay. good. Thank you and, for coming. Uh, I got an email, Annie, from the mayor on that other thing. Um, and here's Bombay Royale. And he sent me some language. I'll send it to you later. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye, all. Bye, Bye all. Alan. Oh, wait. My thing froze up and I, Hi. I rejoined. I don't know what happened on your end, but that was bizarre. You disappeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so I made a motion to. Can you hear us, Melon? Uh oh. I think we've lost her again. Hmm. So, um, hello, Bombay Royale. How are you? What? Uh, yes, got it. There we go. Are, are you back, Helen? I yeah. You guys just can. Okay, I'm here. You can hear me, see me. Yes. Hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's going on, Florence? <laughs> it is Florence. Um, okay. So, Helen, did you hear yeah. me make a motion for the minutes? Yeah, I thought okay. I had made one, so I'll second it. <laughs> Excellent. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Going back to item number four, review and approval of the following application for extension of premises onto public property, Ragum Incorporated, DBA, Bombay Royale, at one Roundhouse Plaza. We can't hear you. I just unmuted him. Oh, okay. Yep. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Hi, my name is uh, Pramod Warrior. I own the Bombay Royal Restaurant at 52 Craft Avenue. We are putting in an application for a uh, request for outdoor seating coming season. Great. Can you just walk us through your application a little bit, your plan for your tables and such? Uh, we are planning to do like uh, five tables of like four top eight, six feet apart uh, with uh, uh, protective uh, like uh, barricades along the whole six table. So the people who walk in the sidewalk doesn't interact with any of the people. Good. Um, and have you had the building department come by yet? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay, great, great. Um, I have no questions then. Uh, Neither do I. Annie, do you have any? Do. Yeah. Um, how do you plan to cordon off the area? Uh, we got like a, a, a ropes that we're going to like a cordon off all the areas so people don't, the people who are walking on side street doesn't, uh, you know, walk in our way. Okay. That's great. Anything else? That's good. Thank you. You're good. Okay, then I will make a motion to approve the application for extension of premises onto public property for Ragum Incorporated DBA Bombay Royale at one Roundhouse Plaza. Can I second? All in favor, aye. Thank you very, Thank very you much. very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you guys have a great day. You too. Thanks. Thanks, you, Thanks you too. Okay, new business. <laughs> Um, Annie, I saw your email. Yeah. Is John joining us? Um, I don't know. He, he has the Zoom link. Um, but I mean, I don't know if it's really necessary for you to have him here. It's obviously up to you, but he wants to change his hours from noon to 10 a.m. so he can incorporate 
like the Florence Diner breakfast situation. So how, I have a couple questions about that. One is normally an app, someone would physically fill out an application for that. Is that correct? There's actually not a change of hours application for the ABCC. Okay. It's like a, we have to notify them by letter, but there's no formal application. There's no fee or anything like that. Okay. Um, and then my other question was, is there any issue in doing this knowing it's going to be shared with a restaurant that doesn't have a liquor license? Um, Essentially, I mean, they're, they're, they're sharing their space, their outdoor space. Right. And they're going to be sharing product, but whose tab is, are the alcoholic beverages going on? How are they, how are they splitting that? And should that be known how they're splitting that? I don't really think that that's under our purview because I mean, we don't get into the weeds with their finances and well, like say if, if somebody's ordering a mimosa with their breakfast, Miss Flo's doesn't have a liquor license, so they can't be selling liquor. It's not, it, it's not Miss Flo's, it would be JJ's. So they're, okay. So hold yeah, on, no. John just emailed me and said, can you send the Zoom link? So um, let me just get it here and send it to him quickly so he can answer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a legitimate question, Natasha. Please. Annie, he's on the call. Oh, yes. I'm here. Hey, John, how are you? Just made it in by the skin of my teeth. Yes, you did. Glad you made it. So we have some questions about your um, extending your hours so that you can provide beverages to customers of Miss Flo's Diner. Our, our, our customers as well, but yeah. And your customers as well. Yeah. So when it comes to serving the patrons of Miss Flo's Diner, how is, how does, how, how is this all kept separate? Because I can't imagine that Miss Flo's would be allowed to, I mean, I know they wouldn't be allowed to be selling alcohol because they don't have a liquor license. So what is the plan for? Right, so our staff would just be out there anyways because we're going to be open. And if her, if the diner patrons, you know, request any kind of beverage of any kind from the bar, then we're just going to take the table from there. Okay. They're going to have two separate, you know, they, they know that going into it. We know that they're going to get a separate invoice from us that we, we can monitor because our staff is qualified to, right. you know, to serve safe and all that to, to do that. So, um, you know, we're not expecting a huge, like, you know, outpour, but it's just like, uh, it's it's come up numerous times um, between our customers and theirs, and it just feel like we just kind of want to have the option. I guess is that's all. Okay. Okay. So just to um, reiterate, you your staff will actually be serving the alcohol as well. Yeah, they won't. They're not gonna. Yeah, they won't be. The, the only thing they're gonna do is notify us if their customers want a beverage, and then we'll just go over to the table at that point, and okay. you know, from there it's just as if they're ours. You know what I mean? But they're right. gonna have food and same thing with the vice versa it's like our customers have come down and sit down and be like oh i want you know an omelet and a whatever so i'm like okay well then you, they come over and take the order for that you know because we want to give them as much business as they can get too we're all you know her and i are working great together so we right. just want to make sure that you know we're just we're just have the option we got a good space out there and it's kind of you know just trying to make a go of it and right. menus will be very separate also, oh, yeah. so does the Miss Flo's menu have drinks on it? Um, no. Because it shouldn't, I imagine. It, yeah. No. yeah. Just the breakfast menu. We came up with a little six drink, like, you know, the basics, the Bloody Mary, um, you know, a mimosa, a couple other ones that are just the basic stuff. And just we could have that out there on the table, if, you know, if, if, they, if they choose. Um, otherwise, they can just go about as they normally do. And same thing with our customers. You know, we have customers. We are... We are you know, we just threw the number, uh, the noontime number out there to, when we started this thing because we didn't know what was going on. It was kind of in a rush. We threw the number out there. But now we're kind of like, we're seeing customers that, you know, want to come in for like a burger at like, you know, our wings after golf at like 11 o'clock. You know what yeah. I mean? So, well, we'll get to back it off anyways, regardless of this, because we need the option just in case again um, to serve the customers that we need, you know? 
That makes mm -hmm. sense. <clears throat> Helen, do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, no, not really. I mean, and I assume, or this is all understood that obviously this is just a temporary for this under these circumstances, which I guess is the same as the outdoor seating, right? We don't need to put in any spe special language to that. Okay. Is that a shaking of your head, Annie? Like, no, oh, it's on. Yeah, no, it, I'll just amend his temporary license now that okay. he already has and just change the hours and then it, it, it um, gets rescinded on November 3rd. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, with this, do we, this is a motion to approve situation then, Annie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, are, are we ready to do that? I Natasha? think we're ready. Yep. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the change in hours for um, Blue Paws Inc. DBA JJ's Tavern from a starting time of noon to a starting time of 10 a.m., seven days a week, I believe is what it said. I will, <laughs> second, I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, Thanks, John. Thanks, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Sure, right. thank Thanks, you. Andy. Thanks, Annie. Bye. Thanks, John. <clears throat> Do we have any other new business? Um, I just, so we have a meeting on the 22nd. Yep. Um, and we have a pending violation hearing from before this all started for the basement. Um, do you, do we want to hold that violation hearing on the 22nd? Will we have a full commission? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we don't know that we won't. I'm just, I'm hesitant to have violation hearings when there are only two commissioners. I think that's not appropriate. Okay, so then I guess maybe we should talk about, because I do have the uh, police chief asking when it's going to be, and yep. I need to notify the people that have been, I, I've been sending them letters monthly saying it's been pushed off. So I think we yeah. should. Um, well, so has, we has Brian meeting. said he's not coming to that meeting? I can't really remember. I, I'll have to look through the email, look through my emails and find and find what the response was because I, I don't remember. Helen, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think that there should be three of us as well. Um, and with Brian, I think it's we need actually a he needs to say he's coming versus not saying he's not coming. Is that right? <laughs> Like we need a confirmation that he's actually going to be there. Um, but I understand wanting to take care of it sooner rather than later. Absolutely. So we have a meeting on the 22nd and then our next regularly scheduled meeting would be the first Wednesday in August Do you, at four. Do we want to keep that and plan for it that day? And I'll confirm if Brian's going to be there. Sorry, wait, can you remind me? I don't know why I don't have it on my calendar. What time on the, it's July 22nd, you're saying? Yeah, and the 22nd at three o'clock. Uh, That's like um, a regular meeting, like uh, not just. Did we just make that? I'm, the only reason, reason is I'm seeing I have a dentist appointment at two, and I'm just wondering why I don't remember. Yeah, I think we because you're on vacation the week before, right? Yeah, maybe I didn't look at my calendar. Okay, I'll figure out the... Well, just... I mean, no one really knows about it yet, so we can... <laughs> I mean, even if it's... Like, no one's on the agenda yet, so... Right. Do you I want mean, to even if, it four? If, if we make it four, then I that would work for me. I All right, yeah. Is that... No, we can make it four. Okay. Okay. So there's that one, and then um, two weeks later would be the first Wednesday of the month meeting. I don't know if you want to keep that, and I can try and see if Brian can commit to being there. 
or if that's too soon after the 22nd, I don't know. Um, let me see. All right, so the, are you asking us, so the 22nd at four and then the 5th, August 5th at four, are you? I'm asking whether if you think that's too soon, <clears throat> soon after the 22nd meeting or, or if that's okay, or if you want to push it out yeah. another week or. <clears throat> and remind me, are we having the 22nd meeting just because we think there's going to be more applications, special applications? No, that it's a regular meeting. Like I have, I have a few things that have been pending for months because the commission wasn't allowed to meet. Oh, okay. And I do think there will be another one, another application by the 22nd. Okay, because I, I guess- once my the rest of Main Street rolls out that Haymarket and Dobra for sure. They don't have liquor licenses. Oh, sorry, I keep yes. forgetting. This is only, <laughs> I forget the power you wield, Annie. Never mind. <laughs> I'll go back on mute. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, so, sorry, go on. Go oh, ahead. No, I was just going to say, I don't, I don't have a problem with the proximity of the two meetings as long as we have some certainty that we won't need to throw another one in in August. Like if we're, if, if we're resuming our regular meetings and our regularly scheduled time is the first Wednesday anyways. So I don't. I mean, I can't guarantee there won't be another one in August because when Main Upper Main Street rolls out, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it makes sense if it's uh, safer to um, do like August 12th. Have the violation on August 5th because he really, I mean, that has been scheduled forever that August 5th meeting, so he doesn't really have an excuse not to be there. I would say. Um, and so that might be good point, you know, uh, it, it just may be safer to have it then so that we don't have this issue on the 22nd. Does that, what do you think, Annie? It makes sense. I just don't think that, that I don't think. <laughs> just cause it's been on the calendar for six years doesn't mean. I don't think it matters or, at this then point. Then he should just resign. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. You know, just be done. Um, is it like within your purview, Annie, to say, you know, I need a commitment from you on August 5th, we're having a violation hearing, I need to know now. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you you will attend. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, and if he can't do it the 5th, I mean, do you want to, I, should yeah. I should I give him another date or no? Should I just say right. this? If he can't commit to a regularly scheduled meeting that includes a hearing a violation hearing, then I I would like to not be continuing to look at the calendar to find dates that work for me. I just assume fine, he's not going to be there. Yeah. All right, then then attorney Seawald should be present because there's only two commissioners conducting a violation hearing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, two is a quorum. It's mm -hmm. not ideal, obviously. No, it's not. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with the fifth. And, and get a yes or no out of them if you can. And if I get a no, or we you still want to hold it on the fifth? I think so. I think we need to. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okie dokie. Thank you, Annie. I'm sorry. You have to herd cats sometimes to get these meetings scheduled. Yeah. It's, I do it on my, <laughs> in the other part of my job too. Right. I'm sure. It's a big part of your day. Yeah. Um, do we have any other new business? I don't have anything though. No. Alan, do you have anything? I do not. All right, me neither. Then I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor, aye. All right. Thank it's you. Good. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.